Hello Internet, welcome back to Let's Play Excel. I love Microsoft Excel, and I have a dream to become the world's first Excel-based video game designer. In today's video, we're going to walk through a few of the formulas behind my very first Excel game, Pokemon Let's Go Excel. Before we get started, I do want to mention that if you want to play this, you want to give it a shot, I do have a download link in the description, uh, completely free to play. Honestly, I'm just really excited for anybody who wants to give this a shot. And if you have any feedback, any ideas for how we can make the game better, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think. This is version 0.1 out of several more iterations to come. Uh, so this is definitely the very earliest stage of it. But again, any feedback you have is more than welcome. But without further ado, we're going to get, we're going to dive into the two factors that allow Pokemon to actually show up in the game. So let's get to it. Here I have a fresh version of the game uh, open. This is just straight out of the Excel file. And the what we have here is a Pikachu preloaded. And how exactly is this Pokemon showing up, right? Well, there's a few things at play here. First thing I'm going to do, uh, just to show this off, we have a few hidden, uh, well, actually a handful of hidden data points. So we're going to just change our text column to black so you can see everything that's hidden. If we expand column B, you can now see pretty much everything we have at play here. So what we have is a few formulas that are introducing Pikachu as a Pokemon. We're using a random number generator to then create the name Pikachu. From there, we have some helper columns over to the side that's taking that name plus a number one through 24. We do have a 24 by 24 grid. Here we go, 24 by 24 grid that Pikachu is showing up in. And within all of those, we actually have uh, different uh, index match formula. So index match is going to be the first thing at play. The second thing at play here is going to be a conditional formatting rule. So how exactly are we now getting Pikachu to show up from this just Pikachu 1 through 24? Well, we actually have to go into a hidden tab here. If we go in unhide, we're going to go into our map. And within the map, this is actually a... Uh, full map of every single sprite we have in the game so far. If we, I'm actually going to scroll down to where Pikachu is. So here we got our little electric mouse. Zoom in. And here, we'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, you can see that we have Pikachu, but there are numbers all over his body. Each of these numbers uh, corresponds to a color that has been predefined up in our top row, if you're curious what any of those colors are. So 11 is your bright yellow, 6 is your red. Uh, you can't really tell, but your blacks are 1, whites are 5, etc. And so by doing this, what we're now creating, we see Pikachu 1 through 24. So we have that name number combo name number combo over here. So now what we're using is an index match just to say, hey, in position 1-1 one, one of this 24 by 24 grid, bring in uh, whatever value matches up with this name. So for, again, anybody who is not familiar with an index match, if you're familiar with VLOOKUP, it is a very similar sort of formula, just in my opinion, a bit more powerful, a bit better. Uh, let's you read uh, uh, right to left versus just left to right only, for example. And so the syntax here is you're saying uh, index map E. So map E is going to be the column in which we are trying to pull out a portion of our Pikachu or our 24 by 24 grid. That's going to be the very first column. Comma match. We are now trying to identify what are we matching everything up against. In this case, we're using Pikachu 1. So the, the name Pikachu 1 and B8. And now we're going to say, where can we find Pikachu 1? Well, we're going to find that in map AA. So again, to show this off over here. We're saying that we want to be pulling in column E. This is the first column of our entire 24 by 24 grid. And now we're going to match that up by using Pikachu 1 and finding Pikachu 1 anywhere in here. When a new Pokemon is uh, generated, that's going to change out the name. So if a Raichu was next, then it would be looking for Raichu 1, finding that, and then pulling everything over. But, of course, the colors don't come with it. And what we'll actually take a look at if we take all of this, the entire grid, and we're going to go and clear our rules from selected cells, this is what Pikachu actually looks like. You see a lot of zeros, a lot of ones, and because we're zoomed out a little bit, uh, the 11s and 15s and all of our larger numbers are just showing as pound symbols. So you can kind of see, you can kind of see Pikachu here, uh, but very, very tough. Uh, and so that's where conditional formatting comes in. So I'm going to undo that. 
and I will click into our Pikachu. And if we go to conditional formatting, manage rules, here you will see all actually have 76 rules in here because zeros we need to make sure show as white as well. And this is identifying C7 through AH31. That is our 24 by 24 grid. So C7, the start of the 24 by 24 to AH31. That's the end of our 24 by 24. And now every single color for every Pokemon that's been defined is going to show up in there. And let's just take a quick look of what this looks like in the rule. So again, we're going to go edit rule. We want format only cells that contain. Cell value equal to, in this case, one. It's making everything black. So if we go into our format, there's two things we have to change. One is font color, just set it to whatever color you want. And then two, fill. Uh, if it does not exist in here, you'll have to go into more colors and then select it. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You select the color that you want to see, make sure that that color matches in both the fill and the font, hit okay, hit okay again. And then once you've added that rule, you can just hit apply and then okay. And that's how your Pokemon will show up. So if we go and roll this again, we'll get a new wild encounter, and now we have a Magnemite, and that is exactly how Magnemite is showing up. To show it off one more time, we're going to undo that conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells, and there is kind of, sort of, a Magnemite, but when we allow the conditional formatting to go into play, there you can absolutely see the Magnemite. So that is how we're getting Pokemon to show up in this file, and I want these videos to be a mix of introducing the games, walking through how you can play them, while also showing the fun Excel formulas that make all of this happen. Again, I really, really like Excel, and I think it's really neat the sort of things that you can do uh, with it to just make cool things happen. So probably in the next video, we'll walk through some of the catching mechanics and how exactly we can catch the Pokemon. But for the time being, this is where we're going to leave it. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you like what you see, then please leave us a uh, subscribe. And also, if you have any interest at all, play the game. Let me know how many Pokemon you can catch. Uh, this is, again, version one, but the, the more people we can get uh, playtesting it, the more we can get everything into a, a realm where I'm getting a lot of feedback to know which direction to take things, then the better we can make this game overall. But again, that is actually my time. So thank you very much. And remember to stay excellent. Bye.